Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Um, I will show you today how to use QPath to define regions using brushes here and uh, do a bit of um, annotation arithmetics uh, to uh, create those regions that you can see here in red and in blue, uh, which are uh, actually um, derived from the first green region. So in order to do that, uh, let's move uh, on another image, like here. So I have to set up the image type first. And so this is a fluorescent image, um, which has several channels, as you can see here. And on this image, uh, we are interested in uh, this particular region here, which contains uh, different uh, subtypes. Uh, and we want to um, define uh, an annotation that covers roughly this region and then the next millimeter uh, are around this region but still belonging to, um, uh, to the whole tissue and then the rest of the tissue. So in order to do that, the first thing I will do is uh, use um, uh, a pixel uh, not a pixel classifier, but a, a threshold actually to uh, quickly, quickly uh, create uh, an annotation for the whole uh, tissue. Uh, and for that, I can choose whatever channel is the most suitable, uh, or probably the green one, uh, or the orange one works as well. Um, so let's use the green one, for instance. So I choose to only display one channel because uh, when I do that I get only uh, one value here down uh, at the bottom of the and uh, the right side of the, the screen here so I can get a readout of the minimum value I need to use for my uh, search order so anything that is around let's say 600 should cover the whole tissue probably yeah, maybe a bit lower, we'll see. Uh, so, to do that, we go to um, classify, pixel classification, and create threshold. So, here, I'm, I said I used the green channel, in this case. You have to uh, be aware of the, um, of the resolution, because by default it's probably very low. Um, or extremely low and the thing you have to set is um, the, the, the class you want to use for the whole annotation here so above the threshold would be something like this and you said 600 but it's maybe too high here as you can see I also added a smoothing sigma and the other thing is that um, let me put this back to let's say 350 cover the thing yep and here we want let's say low is fine low is fine as a definition uh, as a resolution like this so now what we want to do uh, is uh, make sure to create an annotation and in order to do that by default um, you have to save um, the, the classifier you want to use but here you have the, the check mark to enable buttons for unsaved classifier. Here actually I don't care to save the, the classifier, I just want to make sure that uh, I will be able to create some objects, so I need those buttons here. So once this is checked here, enable buttons for unsaved classifier, I will create objects here. I will take the full image as a parent object, press OK. And here I have to set up some values uh, to uh, get rid of small objects like this one here and also to fill in the holes so in order to get an idea of the dimensions we are talking about uh, let's speak for instance about this uh, region we want to exclude for the moment I don't have any annotations here so I can just quickly draw something around here and I will see the area is uh, let's say around 5000 uh, squared micron so if you have something above 5000 uh, it will be kept below it will be uh, excluded 
and the same goes for the regions we want to fill in so let's say if we have a hole covering approximately this size now we are talking about a much larger region uh, let's say uh, anything below 200,000 uh, should uh, be filled so if we use those two values here we can probably uh, be okay to get the full annotation like I want it to be so let's just remove those two regions here right now and go back to the threshold so create threshold here create objects full image and here uh, the minimal minimum object size we said was uh, at least 5000 uh, and the minimum hole size was 200,000 like this actually if you want to really be, be sure here since we just want one big region we can go much higher so we put it this 10 times higher than what we measured here so at least we should be okay and uh, we want to create objects uh, for ignored classes yes if we don't have any classes uh, and the rest can be left out so um, press ok and now I can close the threshold dialog and here you can see that I have now a full annotation for my uh, tissue without any holes inside so it's quite clean so one thing you have to make sure but by here it will be by default if I select this region here and then a right click you can see that it is actually locked that allows us to uh, draw other regions uh, other annotations on top of this one uh, without trying to expand this one let me explain so if I unlock this region if I try to let's say define something here actually it will do nothing but just expand the region so let me just use here the one tool and here you can see now I <laughs> created another region because I was outside but if I want to uh, modify this one you know what let me just uh, show you the input display quickly so here you will see the keys I'm using so uh, this is selected here I press the alt key the one tool selected and I'm now correcting back the region so this is another way to quickly draw um, but what I want to do is actually draw from inside to cover uh, this uh, area here where I, where I have uh, the, the, the many different sale types here and in order to do that I need this region the first one the first annotation uh, to be locked actually uh, so now that this is done uh, if I draw something else it will automatically be uh, a new region like here so here I'm using the one tool uh, but this is probably not the best tool for me at the moment what I can use is actually the brush tool and if I start from inside I can now cover here but I may also uh, go over my previous annotation so this is not good here so what I will use is actually a combination with the control and shift key while drawing here and this constrains uh, my brush to uh, the parent uh, annotation here so uh, since I have only one I can just use this quickly here to uh, brush and create my, uh, my annotation here so I'm going here just quickly over the, um, the region I want to cover and I will clean up a bit with the one tool afterwards um, so let me just explain yeah, continue here by the way it happens sometimes that you start brushing and then you say okay I forgot to press my, my, my key and now uh, I, I went over that doesn't matter as long as you don't release the mouse click here uh, if I press again the shift key and control key and continue to draw it will constrain back here to uh, the region I want to use so 
something like this is okay. Like this for this region. And let me just cover this quickly here. Something like this should be fine. So now I have uh, blank areas here that I want to get rid of. Uh, I can use the WOM tool and the Alt key here with this annotation selected. And from the outside, I can refine this uh, region a bit. Like this. So it's not perfect, but let's say uh, it's probably good enough for the purpose I have, which is uh, to uh, define an annotation that covers this area and get an approximate uh, measurement of the uh, the value of the, the, the uh, of the size of this area. Something like this. So now uh, I have several regions that are have uh, been separated from the main ones um, but it's okay actually it's okay um, maybe I just want to get rid of those here quickly just to, to make this uh, really clean like this here yeah. okay I don't want to spend too much time here since uh, this is just a demonstration, but you get the idea. So now I have uh, my first region here. Just fill this here. I don't know why I had that hole here. And this will be uh, my region of interest. So let's just uh, set the properties from to this region and call it. Uh, Let's call it uh, my price. You can set the uh, color if you want to. Let's put it to red. It's fine. So this is now my right. So let's say now we want to uh, expand uh, this region uh, from uh, the border of the limit of, of the, the first this annotation up to uh, one millimeter uh, into every direction. But I still want to be constrained to the parent object. So in order to do that, there is a command here, it, which is object annotation and uh, expand annotation here. And if you want to use it, you have the option here to constrain it to the parent annotation. But in order to do that, uh, you have to make sure that in the hierarchy here, my Roy is now a child of my uh, big annotation. In order to do that, you go back to the annotation tab, right click and click here on insert into hierarchy. And if I go now to hierarchy, since this smaller region is, in, is contained into the bigger one, it's now a child. Uh, and now my command here, which is uh, object annotation, expand annotation will be uh, constrained to the parent. Um, let me just create one without constraint so you can see the difference. Uh, and to get one millimeter, I enter this value here and press run. And you will see now I get one millimeter, but it's also outside, uh, which is not uh, interesting for me. What I want is a region which is constrained to my parent. So I can just run it again here. You won't see much of a difference. Uh, unless I uh, <laughs> remove the other one here. So let's delete this one. Okay. And so I have my uh, row which uh, I created first and then the expanded version here. But the expanded version uh, contains also uh, the my row uh, uh, annotation I, I created manually by brush with the brush tool. So what I want to do now is subtract this uh, this area here from the one I just created. So in order to do that, um, I will first uh, duplicate uh, my ROI here because I want to keep it. 
because when you do uh, region subtraction or annotation subtraction um, you only keep the result not uh, the, the different parts used to do the calculation so I can go here to object annotation and duplicate annotation here so this is the smaller region and this will be the bigger region so let me just make this clear by uh, just renaming this uh, so it's clear for you so this is small row okay and this is the expanded row okay and I, I rename this just for you uh, to understand because when you want to use um, uh, annotation arithmetics, uh, what you need to do is select multiple uh, annotations because with just one, when you right click here, you can just edit a single annotation. Yeah, but if you have multiple, so here I'm using the control and uh, click uh, key here, I can now edit multiple. Uh, annotations and I have several options I can merge them subtract them or intersect them what I want to do here uh, is uh, to uh, do a subtraction but the order really matters here because uh, what happens is that I have to select at the last part uh, that is the one that will be kept and the other uh, annotations will be subtracted from the last one selected so I want to start with the small row control select the expanded row right click add multiple and subtract selected that's how it works and now I can uh, see I have now one row and the other one which is just this one um, as you can see, there are maybe some um, smaller parts that I can maybe just clean up a bit. But, uh, let's leave it for the moment, it's fine. Uh, and if I want to do the same here with uh, the full annotation, I want maybe to um, do a copy again here, if I want to keep it. But here it's not necessary because I don't want to keep it. I just want three separate annotations that cover my t-shirt. So uh, I will uh, use um, this region at, at the end and I will subtract a copy of those two. So I first have to uh, duplicate this one and duplicate this one also. So I will select this annotation, this one, and the last one is the one the biggest. So this one, right click, edit multiple, and subtract selected here. And now I'm left with this region. Um, so I can color them separately so that uh, it's a bit clearer. Uh, so let's uh, change quickly the properties of this one. Uh, let, let, let's keep this one in red. The second one, let's put this one, I don't know, in. Uh, range is fine and the last one actually since it's uh, remain uh, something that re uh, was calculated from the threshold uh, it has been assigned a class here uh, but it's uh, I used region with the star here so it cannot be uh, colored uh, so what I want to do is just change its class for instance to tissue whatever here and now I can set the properties and put this, I don't know, to yellow and put it uh, like remaining tissue or something like this. It's fine. Okay. Um, and now if I uh, reset my selection, I should see uh, the three different um, uh, areas here. And I can get um, information specifically about uh, those three areas here uh, which is uh, which is quite nice so that was uh, a small tutorial on how to use effectively uh, the brushes and the wand tool and to do a bit of uh, annotation arithmetics 
Thank you for listening. If you have uh, questions, as always, uh, you can leave a comment or contact me directly. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.